I think it's pretty clear now that I need to ask for help because I don't think this is attainable, feasible to continue playing like this. So the normal games gameplay style of Mortal Kombat team, you guys know how it works, where you use God Killer on Scorpion, you use Dark Metal cards on Raiden, and you, you, you are relying on disabling the boss's block so that when you tag in Raiden, you are able to downswipe and continue with your basics, then downswipe and continue with your basics. So that works well if everything is perfect. If your connection is good, your device is good and all of that, that's great. The match is very easy. You will finish the match, maybe 20 or 30 seconds left, you'll be able to clear the boss. The only issue is that that is not the case for a lot of people. Definitely not the case for me. I tag in my rating and more of, not, let me not say not more often than not, let, let me not over-exaggerate it, but often or from time to time, Raiding doesn't do anything. After I tag in, I down swipe, you will see, you see my the touch uh map on the screen. Like you see that that touch icon or what do I call it now? You can you can spot on the screen where I'm touching, where I'm tapping on the screen. You will see that when I do the down swipe sometimes when I tag in raiding, raiding doesn't do anything. Now, if that happens just once throughout the match, you there's still hope for you. If that happens up to five times during the match, you're not going to one-shot that match. You're going to have some health left, which is going to be quite unfortunate. But yeah, that's the case. So my question to you guys is, is there any other pattern I could use apart from this? Because this is the working pattern. This is a pattern that works for most people. And this is actually the best pattern to go. But is there any way I could possibly use my raiding without that downswipe? So, because I've also tried maybe tagging in raiding and just using basic attacks from the get-go. But if you don't tag in and do that down swipe, there are many bosses that will jump. Some some bosses are quite uh, docile, so they won't really jump. Like this boss now is relatively docile, so it made it easier to beat him. But there are some bosses that if you don't do that down swipe, they are going to jump 100%. If you do any other movement apart from down swipe, they are going to jump. So I'm still trying to figure out, maybe since I've beaten this solo raid like twice already, <laughs> so maybe I should just start focusing on that experiment. But in case... Any of you have found a different way that I could use raiding without using downswipe? Because I've noticed that downswipe is the one that is most difficult to register. Once you die, and not just normal downswipe, using downswipe when you tag in your raiding. So, yeah, I was able to one shot, but you guys saw that it, it went to the last two seconds. That's not something you can rely on. That's not reliable. So, I want a way that I would have like at least 20 seconds left and without using downswipe. So, just let me know in the comment section how that would work. And yeah, the Mortal Kombat team is great against uh, Bosaibog. Bosaibog has power at the beginning of the match, which will even give you more power to steal at the beginning. There was a time that a boss having power and having increased power generation was a bad thing. There was a time, but now that is no longer the case. Anyways, Mortal Kombat team, if you have the required artifacts, great against Bosaibog in tier 4. Now, against Boss Batman, the best team you are going to use here is Girl of Steel with EPI and with Heartbreaker Harley Quinn. The reason for that, that is that this boss is going to stun your character on tagging. So you have two defense here. It's either you tag in and you reflect the stun to the boss. Although it's looking like this boss, I don't I don't know. There are some solo raids that boss stun on tagging, but they don't actually do. I don't know if that's the case here, but let's assume that this boss is doing what it's supposed to do, which is stun your character on tagging. So there are two things that could happen. Either you tag in and you reflect the stone to the boss, which is amazing, or you tag in and the boss is the stone is ignored because of the passive of Girl of Steel Super Girl. So you see, that's why this team is 100% going to be the perfect team to destroy boss Batman. You just do the normal uh, stacking of specials, stack your specials with Girl of Steel, then stack your specials with EPI. As soon as you get your infinite power, start to spam your special three. Like I said before, if you have a maxed out or almost maxed out, let's say from level 8 and above as uh, Zatanna's Puppet on your EPI, you can do up to like 5 or 6 specials before you tag in Heartbreak the Queen. But if you have less than that, maybe like a level 5, then you should even do up to 10 special 3. To, just, to be, just to guarantee, do up to 10 special 3 with EPI before you tag in Heartbreak Harley Quinn to do your damage. So, yeah, if you have that set of Girl of Steel plus LOA, you're going to destroy Boss Batman. You are not, don't worry about the stun on tagging. That's not going to be an issue for you. Now, this motherfucker, 
actually reduces your what do you call it now your not reduces actually increases your tagging time so the gameplay of tagging in and tagging out is not going to work in this match this match is a match that you will have to stay in the in the fight so selecting your team i'm just trying to tell you how you would select your team so there are two things to watch out for you need a character that can stay in the match and fight him head on and you also need a character that can deal with the issue of crit resistance because this boss has increased crit resistance now if you don't have robin king you could use your dark meta cards on whatever character you're going to use in this match in this case specifically batwoman the drown you could use your dark meta cards uh, but it's of course it's not as reliable as using your um what do you call it uh, as using robin king another character that could possibly help here be probably a different team or maybe even this team is um what's the name of this guy hush yeah hush can reduce bosses crit resistance but when you now combine with the fact that this boss reduces tagging time i don't know how effective because the, the time for hush reducing crit resistance is quite low so it may not really work here but just know that that is an option against bosses that have crit resistance using hush uh so for this fight of course robin king removes that crit resistance and you don't need to tag in too much with the metal team you can leave robin king in the match or you can leave batuma the drown in the match and you are going to have basically the same effect so yeah if you have the setup as well don't use it on any other fights i'm just trying to give you guys the because yes there are other teams you could use here but those teams could be better served against other bosses so motor combat team against uh, cyborg um metal team against dr fate based on these passives then also League of Anarchy and Girl of Steel against uh, boss Arkham Knight Batman. Now, uh, for boss Supergirl, she doesn't really have any... I think she's yeah, Lita. Yeah, I don't use any boss, any character that depends on Lita. Of course, we know the one team that depends on Lita is uh, the Batman Ninja team and also Brainiac. So if you're going to be stacking Brainiac passive here, you're just wasting your time. And if you're going to use League of, not League of Anarchy, Batman Ninja team, you're just wasting your time. And honestly, at this point, who even uses uh, Batman Ninja team anymore? <laughs> Batman Ninja team is not up to lead. It's quite unfortunate, but yeah, NRS destroyed that team. So yeah, so even if Batman Ninja team were good, you they wouldn't do anything for you in this match since this boss has little resistance so just yeah go into this match avoid brainiac avoid batman ninja team so uh, one you can use a lot of teams here but i think a good team to use here would be raven and king of atlantis aquaman of course raven will be making use of zatanna's puppet i love zatanna's puppet on raven uh because of locking the boss is special because of miss 100 percent miss and also because of incoming damage. In fact, against any boss, I would suggest... You see that in this match, I actually have battle ranks, but I'm not using battle ranks in this match. Because battle ranks are giving me extra 20k attack. But the match... And of, of, obviously, I'll be able to one-shot if I use battle ranks as support active as for extra attack. But it's, the match doesn't go as smooth as when I use uh, Satana's Puppet on Raven. Yeah, the match is just so much better with Zatanna's Puppet on Raven, Twin Blade on King of Atlantis Aquaman, and Dark Metal cards on uh, Dr. Fit uh, for the supporting attack and health. So yeah, this, this is what I would advise. Uh, that is going to be the best setup for this team is this. Unless you are fighting a boss that is either... That either, either calm down, bro. <laughs> that either has crit resistance or crit immune so against such against such bosses you want to use dark meta cards on your raven yeah so but other than such scenario against any other boss i would say use the thunder's puppet now uh for the final boss which is boss blue beetle so this boss actually lends himself to be destroyed by beast boy do you know why this boss once you hit 15 combo meter and above it gives you Increase special damage. <laughs> so your <laughs> beast boy already is going to do amazingly well with his special damage because of the dots and his passives. And you want to see give him extra damage. This is giving boss power girl from uh ancient judgment uh, solo raid. So yeah, you normally boss uh rather normally blue beetle, not blue beetle, normally beast boy will not have any issue in this match. 
But this boss is even going to give him extra damage with 15 combo meter. And you know, of course, I'm going to do my 40 combo meter. And I'm going to destroy this boss. Within a few seconds, this is the fastest I've ever destroyed any boss in solo raid. And this, mind you, this is just a four-star beast boy. Imagine a seven-star beast boy. Maybe 30 seconds, match is over. <laughs> it's just interesting and incredible how awesome this character is. Anyways, yeah, that's the best thing. That's the best character to use against uh, boss Lubito. Uh, yeah, you will destroy him. Anyways, this final match is the bonus match. Just wanted to show you guys that, yeah, six one-shots, free-to-play. Yes, free-to-play. Guys, we're going to have a discussion about free-to-play very soon. I see that discussion coming very soon, maybe during this week, because there are some things you guys are saying about free-to-play that doesn't sound good to my ears. Anyways, anyways, the final team, the sixth team for one-shot. You guys saw yesterday, on yesterday's video, I tried to one-shot with this team. I did not work. But in this match, yes, it worked. And the reason why it, it worked here better, not that it cannot work against other teams, but against this boss, I have class advantage. And I know we sleep on class advantage a lot, but when uh, making your decisions for selecting who you are going to use against a specific boss, it's also good to think about class advantage. So you'll see that I had four bosses on tier five I could have fought, but I picked this one because this boss is a might character. And you can see there's a flashing green icon on my Mr. Freeze. That means that uh, Mr. Freeze has class advantage against this boss. So it may not look like much, but that little amount of uh, damage that you're going to add is overall, it, it contributes and it helps your character. One other reason why it helps a lot is these bosses, they usually reduce, they usually have a, a modifier that. They reduce damage taken against the opponent. So this particular boss reduces basic attacks that he takes. But all bosses generally, especially when you get to like tier 4, tier 5, they reduce damage generally. They just reduce damage. Uh, so and some, of, some of them have like increased defense and stuff like that. So that's why it's a, for some characters, especially for a character like Mr. Freeze, it's important to use him against might characters. Because he doesn't do much damage normally. So any advantage you can get is going to be a big plus for you. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. That's, so that's basically how that would work. You could, of course, replace uh, um, Deathstroke with Zatanna. But I prefer using Deathstroke. It just, the gameplay is just so much simpler. You know me, I like, I like simple gameplay. I don't like headache at all in my life like this. I just like something that is sweet, that I will enjoy. I will chill, destroy the boss, and go about my day. Anyways. If you enjoy my videos, guys, smash the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys on the next one.